battle is brewing over what's going on at Southeastern University. The Polk Sheriff's Office launched the first program of its kind there. It trains staffers how to carry and use a gun in case an active shooter ever comes to the campus. National Gun Control Group say that approach is way off target. Fox 13's Ken Suarez shows you what it's promising or proposing instead. Ready? Up. They're locked, loaded, and say they're ready if an active shooter ever shows up on the campus of Southeastern University. But just wait one minute, says Richard Aborn, president of the Citizens Crime Commission of New York City. The thing we have a problem with is this notion that more guns equals more safety. So we worry a lot if people see the widespread carrying of guns as a, as a solution to a violence problem. They are hot air. Polk Sheriff says wrong and took no time at all to fire back. Well, let me tell you something. He needs to stay in New York and do it their way and we'll stay in Polk County, Florida and do it our way. In an editorial, Aborn writes, the states that allow easy access to guns suffer the most gun violence. He continues, the correlation also held true for campus violence. Judd disagrees and says exactly the opposite. There is a group of people that want strict gun control. Never mind the fact that the largest cities with the strictest gun control have the highest violent crime rate. It doesn't make any sense. And they keep pushing that position. Judd asks, what if? What if someone had a gun at the Pulse nightclub when Omar Mateen started to unload? Judd says fewer lives would probably have been lost. Aborn says we should be looking at other options, requiring gun owners to have more extensive training, investigating more thoroughly anyone buying a gun, and making it harder to buy more than one gun at a time. Judd and Aborn are aiming to save lives, but are targeting radically different approaches to do that. In Polk County, Ken Suarez, Fox 13 News. Southeastern may not be the only school to train staff members to carry guns. Judd says three other schools are now talking about starting their own programs.